Kovach, the Associate Program Director for the Blue Ridge Music Center. I'd like to welcome you to the discussion series of Place in the Band, Women in Bluegrass in American Roots Music. This series is part of a project by the Blue Ridge Music Center that began in 2020 to honor the 100th anniversary of women being granted the right to vote. A Place in the Band celebrates the triumphs and explores the struggles faced by women in bluegrass and American roots music. In this discussion series, North Carolina singer, songwriter, and social activist, Laura Lynn Dossett, speaks with women in the music business, including musicians and others involved in music management and promotion roles. Through these conversations, the women share their stories, talking about their role models, mentors, and inspirations, experiences with people they've worked with, issues they've encountered that are specific to women in the industry, changes they've seen over the years, and other parts of their own personal journeys that have helped them to be who they are today. These individual stories show us the collective strength and future possibilities for women in bluegrass and American roots music. I hope you enjoy the series and thank you for joining us. Hi, I'm Laurel and Dossett, and today we are going to be talking with Missy Rains. Missy Rains is a bass player, but she's not just any bass player. Eight times, IBMA has named her Bass Player of the Year, more than any other bass player in that organization's history. I was particularly interested in hearing how she's made the transition from being more in the background, more of a side man in a band, to fronting her own band, writing her own songs, singing her own music. Her love for the instrument and for the music is very apparent, and I found the whole conversation so encouraging. Here's Missy Rains. Do you ever look back at your trajectory and think to yourself, I wish I had known X, or I wish someone had told me? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You, you want to talk about that? <laughs> well, those are harder things to talk about, um, but I think they are important um, as a band leader and as a woman of my age, like mm -hmm. having grown up with my experiences, um, I wish I, I, there are there are a lot of things that that. I see now with women of, you know, who are of the generation, you know, or two below me, mm -hmm. um, um, who are, they're growing up with a completely different set of, of, uh, I don't know what to call them, rules or, or yeah. norms, expectations. Norms, expectations. Yeah. Those mm -hmm. are, those are greater, uh, better words, but, um, so for me, um, you know, I, I remember my earliest experiences um, as a, not as a teenager, because that was a, sort of a, a, a special time, but, but when I was like a young woman in my, you know, early 20s, traveling with with a band with bands or even um a little bit later than that you know and i was traveling with with men mostly almost almost solely playing playing traveling and playing with men um you know i was always i knew that that i was being treated differently even from uh even if it was a good treatment like you know like but i, I felt like mm -hmm. the conversation was always slightly different because I was in the room right or in the van and um I was very keenly aware of that and it, that bothered me and even when like I said when it, the, the intentions were of the best and and um it, but it bothered me that they that it was different so I remember uh going out of my way at times with certain people that I felt who were changing a lot, who, who, who I felt like were having, having to change because there was a woman around. Um, I wanted to, uh, I tried to be more like a guy. Uh huh. So I, so that, that it, it, you know, I think it was to, to prove something to myself, but it was also to 
to make them feel more comfortable mm -hmm. so that they wouldn't think I was like, I, 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 it was almost like I'm, I was like, I'm not a girl. I don't think of me as a girl. Think of me as another guy. So, you know, I learned to cuss and, you know, I just like, I, mm -hmm. I, I could, and, and I really think that, 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 that doesn't even, I mean, that's not even a thing anymore. Right. That, and it shouldn't be, but that was something that I remember feeling and changing, trying to change to fit in, um, right. or so that I thought others would feel, you know, better around me. Mm -hmm. Um, when I look back now, I, I, I sort of wish I hadn't done that, you know? Yeah. Well, do, do you ever feel like an opportunity came up, like something you auditioned for or, you know, a job you wanted, a gig you wanted that you didn't get because you were a woman? Oh, I know. And there are, there are documented, <laughs> <laughs> documented events on this one. Okay. Okay. Well, what, what similar kinds of reasoning, just having a woman around is too difficult or what, what do you, what are your thoughts about that? Oh, I've heard, I, I've heard the whole, I've heard everything from no women on the bus, um, mm -hmm. to, uh, can't hire her. She's not related to us. What would people think? Right. You know, um, mm -hmm. um, but you know what? I've also gotten gigs because I was a woman. Right. Fair enough. Well, it's, and, and so, and, but I, I, I didn't like getting those gigs because I was a woman either, but I took them, mm -hmm. but I didn't like not getting the gigs that I didn't get because I was a woman. Right. You just wanted to be the best person for the job. I just wanted to fit in and just, and just to be looked at equally, um, in the same light, but that didn't that didn't happen and and that was a gift that that my family had given me my parents had given me uh my my father particularly you know i say that because he was you know as a man he mm -hmm. never made me feel like i was something different you know i was this little girl but but right. at the same time he never when i would say i want to do x or that and he's like go do it you know right. and he was never so i had i was always uh, taken off guard a little bit when I came upon men um, who said things or did things that made me feel different right? Um, or, or that made me realize that they weren't, you know, taking me seriously or equally. Right. Because, you know, my, my own father hadn't done that. Um, but anyway, it does. It is a gift. It's a gift. It is.